Welcome to Bleeding Control Shock Management Station. You will be required to stop the arterial bleeding of a patient who has a hemorrhage to their lower arm. And then afterwards, you will be required to demonstrate how you would treat signs and symptoms of hypoperfusion or shock. Do you have any questions? May I check my equipment? Yes, you may. Aside from my buddy and I. The scene is safe, you may proceed. I will begin by applying dressing to the patient's wound and elevating it above the heart. Uh, even after those measures, your patient continues to bleed. So I will apply another dressing onto the patient's wound. The second dressing still does not seem to control the bleeding. So I will apply pressure to the ar arterial, to the artery. All right, after a while of uh, applying arterial pressure, you seem to have the bleeding under control. So now I will bandage the wound and secure these. As I said, your bleeding appears to be controlled at this time. However, now your patient is exhibiting signs and symptoms of hypoperfusion or shock, and you need to treat for shock. So I will put my patient in a surprise position, laying him on his bed, and elevating his feet. into my patient using a non-rebreather face mask. and apply it to my patient. And I will cover him to reduce heat loss. High priority patient and will be transported immediately. Alright, if you'll discontinue all your treatments and you may um, go back to your classroom.